We've covered dimensioning, but let's go through geometric tolerances, and also what do we do when we want to add notes onto our drawing. All that and more, let's do it now. We've been working on our chair arm in this drawing, and let's continue to do so. Maybe we'd like to add some notes. Well, that can be easily achieved by going to Drawing Management and adding a note. When I click on Note, this box comes up and I can start making my notes. Maybe I want to say all intolerance dimensions are basic. I can rotate my note maybe to 45 degrees. But of course I would like to have my text be horizontal. And then I can add a frame around my notes, right? Maybe I need a circle or I need a delta flag or something like that. There's a number of uh, frames that I can put around my notes. No need to sketch anything. I'll of course forego the frame. If I wish to connect my note to anything, then I can make a nice leader that's connected to my model. But of course, in this case, I don't need to show a leader. So I'll simply place my notes here. We'll apply and close. Now, if all of my dimensions are basic, that would imply that I'd probably need some geometric tolerances to establish tolerances. So let's go through that. And let's also note that this is not uh, intended to be technically perfect. This is intended to show what can be done in applying GDT tools. So let's start by going with a datum. And we're going to say datum A right there. Now we can choose to show or hide the leader, and we can edit the leader style here. Of course, the ASME suction cup I think is going to be the best for calling out a datum. So we'll add that, apply, and close. So there is our datum A, and we can continue to uh, adjust the position if we would like. And let's say that now that we have datum A, we want to have some kind of flatness. So let's add a feature control flame, frame, rather, and I'll say flatness here. Maybe we'll give this a flatness of 20 thou. And you'll notice that we are calling out a flatness of a diameter of 20 thou. So we can toggle off our diameter symbol in the tolerance zone of the feature control frame. And uh, we have the option of making it relative to datum A, however, that wouldn't be right because we are calling out datum A on the same surface. We also would like to have a leader on our future control frame. So we'll click on show leader and I can click on the surface to which I'm calling out my flatness for. We have certain standards in this. We can say 1982 or 1994, but don't be dismayed if you want to go with 2009 or 2018. Those symbols are uh, abundantly available in here as well. Uh, there's just not a checkbox for it. So we have the option of doing a projected tolerance zone, which doesn't apply to flatness, but still nice to have. Let's go over some other features in some of our uh, next feature control frames. For now, I'll click on apply. Now I may want to adjust my datum callout. Maybe it's more convenient to move the suction cup over to the feature control frame. And we certainly can reposition our uh, datum callouts that way. Uh, for the next thing, maybe I would prefer to have uh, a datum here be my datum B. Uh, perhaps I'll start with the feature control frame and say that I want this whole surface to be parallel. So I'll use parallelism to the same tolerance, maybe 25. Did I do 20 thou or 25? I did 20. I'll be consistent here and go with 20. And we'll make that relative to datum A. So I click on datum A. Now I have that diameter symbol in there, so allow me to toggle that off. And I'll show my leader. So maybe we're not fitting quite as cleanly inside of that as I would have hoped. But I can perhaps add this outside here. And I can adjust my leader if I would like. Next, uh, I may want to have a, a C datum. And I've got this whole callout that might be pretty useful for that. So I can add a feature control frame. And I'll use a position tolerance. Let's say 0.01, right? We'll make it a little bit tighter. 
And oh, notice that I only have datum A. So I forgot to add my datum B, and that's a good reminder. We'll say datum B, and I'll put it right on the feature control frame, right there. Apply and close. So now when I go to add a position tolerance, I'll be able to select between A and B. So there's our position, our tolerance. Let's go again with 0.01 relative to A and B, right? So my primary is A, my secondary is B. And here, my diameter symbol does apply. We can also do uh, boundary condition modifiers, like max material boundary, if that applies. And we can choose uh, what does or does not apply. We also can choose, you know, least material condition. And we can add a projected tolerance zone if we care about uh, that hole, which in this case, since this arm screws into something, then uh, that might be a great thing to do. So maybe we want to project it down to a height of 1. Again, I'll change this to 94. And there you can see an example of how the 82 and the 94 differ. In this case, I won't need a leader. And I'll put my future control frame right here. We'll apply and close. All right, with those called out, perhaps I would like to have some control on this inner surface. It's probably not a very realistic thing to do, but I think uh, for the sake of showing how the tools work, we can do it. We're going to go with a future control frame. We'll show the leader and call out this inside surface. Perhaps we are uh, particularly concerned with the profile of the surface. So we can choose our profile of a surface. We can say our tolerance is 0.02. And perhaps we want to have an unequal tolerance zone. Well, I can go into the suffix here, type in alt 9418, and I get a U with a circle around it. I can uh, cut that and put it right there. And then I can specify, you know, what I'd like, maybe 0.01 or whatever unequal tolerance zone I want. And I can make my primary and secondary A and B. And I can, and I did not make this my tertiary uh, datum yet. I guess it's early in the morning and I'm still waking up. But we can make that a tertiary tolerance so that it's A, B, C. And of course, we do have the luxury of adding an all around. So I can go from here and say all around, or I can go very advanced and say all over, which gives us the famous two circles, but I'll go with all around and apply. Now, I better go back and uh, make sure that I remember to add my C and apply. And now if I double click on my future control frame, I can add C as a tertiary here. Now maybe I want a tighter tolerance where you put your arm for some reason, or a tighter tolerance down here where you might mate to the chair. If we wish to make a tighter region within two points, then we can add a note. And I can say something like X here, and let's actually show our leader just like that. So X will apply and then I'll add in a Y, and still with our leader showing, maybe from there to there, we'll add in a Y. We'll apply that. Close that. Now we'll want to have our callout maybe around here, so we'll add a feature control frame. We'll do a profile of a surface. Maybe tolerance will be 0.005, right? You want to put your arm on something precise. And we're going to say A, B, and C. We'll show our leader. But now we have to specify that this applies to what is between X and Y. So we're going to check this between points. And I'm going to add an X here and a Y there. And now we've been able to specify a tighter tolerance zone right there in the X, Y. And if we wish to make a change, of course, it's just down to double clicking. And perhaps my change would be I want this to be max material boundary. 
or something of that nature. So we can always add our special symbols here. And we can add some uh, suffixes if we need to add some text uh, after the dimension. So for instance, I can come over here and say Alt 9418 and probably more properly add in my tolerance zone as a suffix. You can also add symbols. So that probably doesn't mean anything, but we can add whatever symbols we'd like also in these zones that follow our datum features. We'll say OK. Now one other thing, perhaps we'd like to do composite tolerances or stacked feature control frames. We have this option here to check composite tolerance. And that brings me to what we'd say a relative feature. Right? So we, when we want to do a stack of two, I can choose composite tolerance. And my symbol here is grayed out. And I can give this a tolerance, maybe something really tight, and give this A, B, and C datums. And we start building our second feature control frame with the shared symbol. I can uncheck composite tolerance and add in, you know, some, some other tolerance symbol down here. If we would like to have uh, stacked frames with unique tolerances. Now, it, I'll, I'll accept this, even though this probably is an unlikely tolerance you'd see. Uh, I can also add in a feature control frame. Um, right, something like that. And I can add that just right on the bottom if we would like to have, in the rare event, many more uh, stacked feature control frames. So that's how we handle feature control frames, and that uh, should cover a lot of GDT options that are available in a Libre. And that's how we do GDT. Hopefully that was helpful, and thank you for watching.